about a fresh and productive morning routine. So forgive me if you think I'm going backwards by saying, let's look at your evening routine. That isn't a backward step. It's a very proactive way of starting to think about how you are preparing for sleep, how you are absorbing rest and enhancing your well-being through a good night's sleep. I'm recording this video on my phone, sitting in my office at home. Until probably 18 months ago, most nights I would go to bed and my phone would be at the side of my bed. I probably lost 15, 20, 25 minutes every night wasted looking at Facebook, looking at Instagram, looking at book sales on my Amazon platform to see what was happening that day or that particular night. Did that any, add any value? No, not at all. It cost me 25 minutes and the bright light in a dark room was probably no good for my eyes either. I'm sure you're not doing any of that, but just in case you have experience of it, let's try a different technique. Switch your phone off half an hour before sleep. Have one book by the side of your bed. I used to have maybe seven, eight, nine books stacked up at the side of my bed. And all that meant was, Nick, you've got all this pressure to read these books. You're probably not going to get around to reading them this month. Put them somewhere where when you're ready, you can go to the bookshelf, take down a book, stick it in your rucksack to read on the bus or to read on the aircraft and enjoy it because that's your focus for that particular time. My early morning routine began with the desire to read without falling asleep. Reading late at night, either before or after I'd lost time on my phone, I was reading when I was tired. I wasn't able to focus. I wasn't concentrating because I was tired. My early morning productivity routine began almost by accident as I need to read, I'm gonna get out of bed early, head downstairs, make myself a coffee and sit down with a book and read for half an hour. And that was the beginning of everything for me with this particular process of creating a morning routine. When you get into bed at night, what you see on your bedside table is a reflection of what's going on in your head. If it's a cluttered, messy space, you need to change that so that your bedroom as a whole is overall a nurturing and restful environment for you to end one day and to wake up in prior to the beginning of the next day. Switch off notifications on your phone 30 minutes before bed. When you go to bed, preferably leave the phone outside the room. You're not going to be on the phone at night. You're not going to wake up at two in the morning and think, oh, I've got to check my email. Because if you are doing that, that's a desperate, anxious situation. And it breaks your ability to get back to sleep if you've woken up during the night. You'll probably notice you'll get a sort of separation anxiety from your phone. If you've been checking it a hundred times a day during the day, and you're used to doing that sometimes in the night, that's not necessarily sensible activity or behavior, but it's also damaging your sleep patterns which means that part of that process of you waking up anxious and frustrated and in a hurry and trying to do too many things before you leave the house in the morning, a lot of that stems from your usage of your cell phone. Have a large glass or a bottle of water by the side of your bed. Maybe have a notepad and a pen so if you wake up in the morning and you want to write down what you dreamt about, you can make three or four notes. Yesterday, in preparation with some of the notes which I've been looking at for the last week, two phrases jumped straight into my mind when I woke up. Did they come from my conscious mind? No. I had gone to bed that night thinking about what is it that I need for a couple of the chapters towards the end of the class, and those chapter titles were there in my head. I grabbed my notebook, I wrote down what had come to mind, and then I forgot about it until I was sitting at my desk later have decent pillows. You need to be supported in your sleep and the right pillows will do that. You don't need them today, but consider better curtains. Curtains that are darker or even actual blackout blinds that you can pull down the window and that those give you a deeper quality of sleep because there is less intrusion of light when you don't need it. Another way that we can enhance our sleep is by having the window slightly open or fully open during the night so that we get better quality of air movement through the room. 
In summary, keep a clear bedside table, have some water, have a notebook and a pen, a watch and or an alarm clock. And that's all you need. Get to sleep on time to wake up and have a productive morning early before the rest of the household.